In this video, we will discuss about uh, this WNT signaling pathway. The WNT signaling pathway is uh, plays an important role during the uh, during the embryogenesis, and also uh, if this WNT signaling pathway get dysregulated, it might also trigger uh, the onset of cancer within the patients. Patients. So let us start uh, with this uh, WNT signaling pathways. And it is mainly categorizes into uh, two paths, canoni canonical pathway and non-canonical pathway. In the case of uh, canonical pathway, uh, what it will does is this WNT signaling pathway helps in uh, this tissue repair, embryogenesis and other regular uh, processes. So when this WNT signaling path uh, receptors get activated, then uh, it will uh, based, based on the phosphorylation uh, phosphorylation it will uh, trigger uh, downstream signaling pathways that will lead to the upregulation of the beta catenin and this uh, beta catenin will interact with this e, cat e catenin that is uh, present within the cells and that helps in this uh, you can say cell adhesion uh, cell adhesion uh, properties and if this excess amount of beta catenin are produced then they will go inside the that will go inside the nucleus and triggers uh, upregulate the uh, genes that are involved in uh, uh, upregulate the onco genes we can say like this so that will uh, and this uh, aberrant production of this beta catenin might cause this upregulation of this onco genes and that might trigger the cancerous like uh, properties so this uh, disruption or mutation in this wnt pathway is uh, critical or it's uh, sometimes it could be fatal to the patients and now let us discuss this non-canonical pathways so in this case uh, they what happens is there's this wnt signaling pathways when it get triggers it might uh, release calcium that are present within the uh, it might release calcium that are present within the endoplasmic reticulum of the cells and because of the uh, release of the calcium within the endoplasmic reticulum it might disrupt the normal homeostasis within the cells and that might lead to this uh, change in the morphology of the cells or the cell adhesion uh, will get uh, cell adhesion properties will get disrupted and that might uh, also promote uh, towards this uh, cell movement and so when the cell adhesion properties get disrupted then the cell movement properties uh, gets upregulated so the both of them works in uh, opposite direction so this is how this uh, wnt uh, uh, non canonical pathways uh, one of the non canonical pathway works and the other uh, non canonical pathway work is this is also related to this uh, cell movement that is cytoskeletal rearrangement because of the because this cell movement uh, requires uh, cell movement requires the change in the phenotype structures of the cells and this thing is also uh, this change in the phenotype structure of the cells is uh, promoted by this cytoskeletal rearrangement and this cytoskeletal rearrangement is also uh, triggered uh, by this non canonical uh, wnt response and in this case what happens is that this w non whenever uh, these uh, wnt res uh, receptors get uh, uh, trigger the downstream signaling uh, towards this uh, jnk pathway or this uh, it might also trigger this ras pathway ras pathway is also uh, one of the uh, uh, ras uh, pathways or ras, ras uh, genes that are involved in ras families are also uh, critical towards this also critical towards this uh, also critical towards this cancer uh, development within the host because uh, most of the cancers uh, cells has the mutations that are found in this ras uh, proteins that are involved in ras family and uh, they are um, highly responsive towards uncontrolled growth rate for example in case of pancreatic cancer the cras proteins are uh, highly found uh, cras proteins cr mutations are highly found in the case of this pancreatic cancer patients around 90 percent of the pancreatic cancer patients have these uh, cras mutations so this non-canonical pathway is also uh, uh, downstream signaling of this non-canonical pathway is also uh, triggered through this uh, ras proteins and this roh roh 
ROH A proteins and finally they will trigger this JNK signaling pathways and that helps in this cytoskeletal rearrangement and thereby that will promote the that will enhance the cell movement cell movement and when the uh, cell adhesion properties are reduced so this both of these canonical pathways works uh, together for this cell movement from one place to another place and uh, the one of the main functions is uh, towards this tissue repair embryogenesis through this uh, canonical pathways that is through this beta catenin interact with this e catenin and also if these reactions get uncontrolled then beta catenin might uh, triggers might go into the nucleus and it will trigger uh, some of the uh, oncogenes of regulations and that might lead to the cancer development within the host so i hope you got a basic idea about the wnt signaling pathway and its relationship with the cancer if you need to understand more about this wnt signaling pathways you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time